Hello, my name is Joe and welcome to my channel. So, guys, it is Halloween today. And you know what that means? It's also Ruby Rose's birthday. Happy birthday, Ruby! Hope you're having fun on your island vacation. So, to celebrate Ruby's birthday, I decided to try my hand at answering the age-old question. How fast is Ruby Rose? Well, I, I, I guess that specific question isn't really age-old, but, but, you know, questioning how fast a character is is pretty standard. And because of that, I decided to go full MatPat on this theory, pixel measurements, circumferences, the whole shebang. Uh, although, although some of the measurements were pretty, pretty rough, uh, I'll admit. Before I get started, though, I did want to preface this by saying that I'm not gonna be taking into account any feats from volumes 1 to 3, because while I do love the fight scenes in those volumes, Monty did seem to prefer spectacle over power scaling, so it would make it kinda hard to get accurate measurements from them. With that being said, let's get started. Ruby, when she uses her semblance, is usually implied to be the fastest of any of our main characters as one would expect when their whole superpower was thought for a long time to be super speed. So, how fast does Ruby go? Well, Ruby Rose moves at the speed of plot. Whatever speed the story requires from her, that's how fast she'll go. But, you know, that, that's just not a satisfying answer. So, instead of accepting that, let's use the power of math to try and find a concrete way to measure her actual speed. The first issue we run into is honestly finding a point of reference. Something to measure her movement speed against that has a concrete measurement and preferably a very straightforward perspective. Considering the dynamic nature of most of Ruby's fights, this was not going to be a super easy thing to find. Luckily, Atlas is, or, well, was, I guess, very methodical, including when they were designing their training rooms, which are made up of a bunch of perfect cubes. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so now what we need to do is actually find how big each of these cubes are. And while it's gonna be a bit rough, we can get a pretty good estimate. Taking some approximations of where the cubes end in these shots, and then some pixel measurements comparing them to Ruby and John, we can get an estimation that each of these cubes is around 40 inches on each side. Now, with those measurements, we just need to see Ruby use her semblance on them and measure how many she moves across in a given time. And the best shot we can use to measure that is here when Ruby is racing Harriet. Since these two are moving in a circle, we need to find the circumference so we can know more exact numbers. Luckily, that is really easy to do because we know the size of these cubes. Given each cube is 40 inches and Ruby is 10 cubes away from Weiss in the center, we can tell the radius is 400 inches. Plug that into the good old 2 pi r, and we find the circumference to be around 2,513 inches or approximately 209.4 feet. Now that we know that, we can measure Ruby's time as she goes around this circle to determine her speed. She moves a quarter of the way around the circle in half a second. I would measure a more full amount of the circle, but due to shifting perspectives, this is the simplest option. Taking this time and comparing it to our circumference, we come out with Ruby moving 104.7 feet per second, or around 71.4 miles per hour. Side note, you can use this same formula for Harriet here, who is 8 cubes away from Weiss, and she's moving around 57.1 miles per hour. And you know, this is a pretty respectable speed. Nothing overly crazy, but Ruby's power levels don't generally go as far as a lot of shonen anime do, so you wouldn't really expect them to go like supersonic speeds or anything. The problem with this measurement is Weiss, or more specifically, her glyphs. While these glyphs from their appearance seem to just be standard platform glyphs, considering Ruby is going faster than Harriet, who is canonically faster than her, we'll have to chalk this one up to an assisted run, and thus not count it toward Ruby's official speed. Now, this brings us to the hard part. While we do have another point of reference in the Atlas training rooms, 
it's a lot harder to measure, and we're gonna have to do some really rough estimations. In Volume 7, Chapter 6, we see Ruby training her semblance, and through tracking her shadow, we can see that she crosses one of these cubes in about two frames, meaning she can cross 12 of them in a second. We plug that in and get her speed as 27.3 miles per hour. The issue, aside from this being way slower than one might expect from Ruby, is that she isn't just crossing the cube straight along a line of them. She's at an angle. Meaning, we need to break out the Pythagorean Theorem. And we don't really have proper measurements for this, and because of perspective, we can't really rely on pixel measurements so much. So we're gonna have to do some guesstimating here. Alright, so let's say side A of this triangle is the 40 inches of the cube side that we've been using. And we'll be generous and put side B at around half of that for 20 inches. A squared plus B squared is C squared, yada yada yada, we get her line at being 44.7 inches, and doing our calculations, we get her speed at an estimated 30.5 miles per hour. Wow, that is really underwhelming. I mean, sure, it's faster than normal humans can go, but like, barely. Usain Bolt was able to reach over 27 miles per hour in his top sprint, and this is only 3 miles per hour faster. Sure, she can do it more consistently, but it also drains her magic soul power that keeps her from getting killed. Overall, while she is faster than a normal human, I can confidently say that there's nothing super about Ruby's speed. Although, I suppose I can give her a break considering her semblance apparently isn't super speed, but rather molecular manipulation. I, I don't know, maybe she just needs to get more creative with how she uses it. Maybe she can experiment with Jean amping her up while the rest of Team Ruby's son bathes in Volume 9. But hey, those are just my thoughts. What do you think? Agree? Disagree? Think Ruby really needs to step up her game in the speed department? Let me know in the comments down below. And, you know, subscribe! I'm trying to do a video every week or two, so you might find something you like. Till next time, safe journeys, my friends.